Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today what I'm going to be talking about is I'm quickly just basically informing you that all of Copper Gaming's asset packs are updated to Unreal Engine 5.5. I've had quite a few questions and I also just wanted to put an update out there anyway. I think I'm going to try to do more updates on these asset packs and on what Copper Gaming is doing which if you don't know is my game studio and you can learn more about that in the description down below. But today that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the asset packs which are again now all fully updated to 5.5 so i'm just going to give a quick brief overview of them and there are videos on each pack as well which go into more detail of them too but we'll start off with the most popular asset pack we have which is the stealth ai starter pack and again this is the most popular one and i think probably also my personal favorite as well and this essentially gives you access to easily set up multiple ai in your level at the click of a single button that the player will have to stealthily maneuver around and these AI are also incredibly easy to customize and that can either be globally so you can customize all the AI at once or individually within the level. So one AI does something specific and something different to another AI as well. The different types of AI you get within this pack are a guard AI which will simply stand guard at a certain location that you tell it to which can either be where you place it or you place it in the level, spawn in the level and then it will go to where it wants to guard. And if it sees the player it will go chase them and then if it loses the player it will go back to where it was guarding. There is also a search AI which will randomly look around for the player in a set area that you've designated and again chase and return as well. And there is also my personal favorite one which is the patrol AI and within this pack there is one blueprint which you can place into your level to create a patrol path for a specific AI. So you can place this one blueprint in your level, duplicate it to create a path around your level and then you can assign as many AI onto that path as you want and they will just be patrolling around that certain area on that path. And again, if they see the player, they will go chase them. And once they lose sight or once they stop chasing, they will then go back onto the patrol path and they'll go to where they were currently going to next. So they'll, they won't restart from the beginning. They'll go back to where they were. And now what starts and stops the chase, there is sight and noise detection. So if the AI sees the player, they will go and chase them and if they hear the player they will go to where they heard the noise and then if they see the player they will chase them and with the site as well there is also a kind of hitman or far cry system it's probably the best way to describe it in which they don't just immediately start chasing as soon as they see the player they have to see the player for a set amount of time you can define which could be zero so it could be immediate or for example they have to be looking at the player for three seconds before they realize that is the player and then they start chasing them. So again, this is my personal favorite and also the favorite of everybody else's as well. This is by far our most popular pack. And you can get the personal license for $35.99 and the professional for $49.99. We've also got the UK Armed Police Character Pack. And this is a simple pack which will give you a high quality, authentic UK police officer for you to be able to use within your projects, either as the player character or an AI in an NPC. So this also includes 62 animations as well from the Epic Games Animation Starter Pack. And this character is rigged to the Epic Skeleton with IK Bones included as well. There are 19 materials and 57 textures and all the texture resolutions are 4K. I think this one looks absolutely great and you're also getting 12 unique props as well within this. For example, a rifle, a taser, a pistol, gas mask, handcuffs and so much more as well. Again, I think this one looks absolutely brilliant. You can get the personal license for this for $49.99 and the professional for $149.99. We also have the Quest System Starter Pack. And this pack will allow you to easily create quests and objectives for the player to complete within your game. And these quests can be given by an AI or by entering a location or by reaching a certain point in the game. Or for example, a story or anything else. That you want it's incredibly easy to set up how you want we have our own custom nodes within this where you can give the player an objective or a quest and you can update it you can see if it's completed you can add it to a quest log for the player to keep track of everything as well so you can keep track of active quests and objectives and ones they have also completed and it's very very easy to use again we've just got nine custom nodes within this pack for you to use and you can use these to again create and complete different quests and objectives. So with this, both the personal and professional license are the same and that is 1999. 
And then finally, last but not least, we also have the companion AI starter pack. And this will allow you to set up multiple companion AI in your level at the simple click of a button that the player can interact with, command to do different things, and also work alongside as well. So these friendly AI will accompany your player throughout their game. So these AI use behavior trees and blackboards as well as regular blueprints. And it's all set up so you can easily learn what it's doing and add upon the current existing structure and system as well to remove or change anything you don't like and also add on things that you want to have as well. So the commands that you can give the AI is to fetch an item. So upon seeing an item, the AI can go and collect it and keep it in their inventory for the player to then go and interact with the AI and take items from the AI's inventory into the player's inventory. And so because of that, there is also a very basic inventory system set up for both the AI and the player, which you can obviously very easily expand upon as well or integrate into your own systems if you wanted to. There is also an attack, so the AI will see an enemy, run towards them and fight for you. You can also possess or control your companion AI as well if you wanted. So you can go up to them and command to possess them so you can then control them, go about, collect items, use their inventory, whatever it is that you want to do or simply just you know go and look into a more dangerous area where the AI is at risk instead of you. You can also make them follow you and also stay. So if you want to go fight and you don't want them to die, you can make them stay in one area. The companion AI also has a leveling up system, a like and dislike system, so kind of like Karma in Far Cry, and again, as I said earlier, also a basic inventory. And it's also as well, this whole basic starter pack is fully network replicated as well, so you can use this in online multiplayer. The personal license for this is $24.99, and the professional is $50.99. And so that'll be it for this video where I've basically just been giving you a quick update to say that all of the asset packs are now updated fully to 5.5. And I also just wanted to give you a quick brief overview of the different packs that we have as well, as I think some people probably don't know that I have some packs out. And also they don't know that I am, you know, Copper Gaming. It's not just some company that I'm promoting or they're paying me to do this or whatever. It is actually my own company that I'm working on building up as well. So yeah, just a quick update video. And I think I'll probably be doing more updates to kind of keep you in the loop of what's going on what's happening and different asset packs so every time i do update it i will make a video on that as well because although i've been putting it in the discord and that's both my personal discord for matt aspland and also for copper gaming i'll probably also make a video on it as well to keep everybody in the loop too but if you aren't in those discord servers make sure to join using the link in the description down below but yeah thank you so much for watching this video though i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you found it helpful of me covering these asset packs, giving you an update to make sure that you know that they are now updated to 5.5 if, if that's what you're waiting for to buy them or if you know you have them and wanted them to be upgraded and updated, they now are. And also if you just weren't aware about these packs, well, now you are. So thanks so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below as it really does help me and the channel out a lot. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.